quickly uh, because I want to keep on schedule and I don't want to lose that whole mingling and drinking and eating food vibe. <laughs> um, but my company is, is Food Purified. First of all, I work full time as an ore fellow at Bullock, which is a cloud computing company here in Indianapolis. But uh, my passion project on the side is an e commerce site called Food Purified. So the whole idea behind Food Purified is that there's more and more information coming out about the toxic uh, chemicals and additives to products that over time can lead to things like uh, cancer, allergies, and asthma, all things that people generally try to avoid. Um, but with so much information out there, it's really kind of hard to know uh, what to trust. And there's so much marketing going on that it's hard to cut through all that and understand what's really safe for your family. So 53 million people um, research their products online every year. And uh, what we've done is we've taken uh, third-party ratings, uh, so objective ratings from nonprofit organizations, and found only the purest products to produce a company called Repurify. It's a one-stop shop for personal care products and cosmetics. So everything from shampoo, lotion, um, you name it, face wash to lipstick and mascara and a bunch of other products that I don't use, but my whole family <laughs> <laughs> so, we've already developed the website. It, uh, we have inventory that's sitting in a warehouse in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, we had a company out in California develop the website for us. And uh, an interesting piece to repurify is that we actually uh, donate a portion of the profits back to the American Cancer Society and three other nonprofit organizations. Uh, sorry, so not all the profits, but a percentage of the profits back to the nonprofits that are helping kind of. Um, move this whole industry forward. So uh, we try to draw shoppers with three compelling steps. The first is the should I repurify self-assessment. This is yet to be developed. This is part of why I'm pitching, is because I think there are a lot of good developers in the room and could maybe help me, uh, or help us really uh, realize our dreams. And that is basically something that you would be able to put in some key information about yourself, what kind of products you use on a daily basis, and then that will go um, back to a database, pull up that product information, and you can almost get an objective score kind of telling you uh, what your toxicity rating is. Uh, the next is uh, bundle products for home delivery. So we already do that, uh, and that's something that we think is kind of unique, not unique to our business model, but key to our business model. And then subscription service, that is yet, yet to be developed. So back to the should I repurify assessment, I think that this could be a really uh, viral aspect of the business. So think of it kind of as a Cosmo quiz meets a credit score, but done dig stop. So let me quickly tell you what that means. <laughs> so I'm sure some of you have picked up a magazine and, and it says, you know, am I, am I good in bed? Am I an office gossip? <laughs> and it's like, everyone is just a little bit vain. It, you know, in the end, they're, they're interested in themselves. So that you're at least going to read the questions and be like, oh, gee, how would I answer these questions? So it's kind of like that, but it would be a web interface and it would give you the objectivity of a credit score. So it would actually give you a score and compare you to the rest of the Repurify community and give you some action steps to then, um, to then go ahead and take action to help Repurify your life. I think I made that a verb. Sweet. All right, so <laughs> we drive loyalty uh, with the Alliance for Cure Products, which I already mentioned. We donate a percentage of the profits back to the nonprofits that are doing the research. We want to build this online community and really help um, build an kind of old dig aspect, so helping people curate what products are out there and what are really effective. Because it's one thing to be pure, but you also need it to be effective in order for uh, you know, the community to, community to accept it. And so that is a very brief overview of Repurify. I have probably 35 slides after this. So you'll probably ask a question and I'll be like, hold on, I have a slide for that. But I, I didn't want to go too, too in depth. But if you have questions, uh, now is a good time. Or you can find, find me afterwards and we can talk, talk Repurify.